Right now you got, well, some, you got zero now. And even this little chicken shit deal for a million four, uh, she's going to have about a half a million equity is going to accrue to her, more or less, from zero. For nothing. Yeah. Uh, do any of your mentees have deals where private equity gets involved? No. No, no, that, the private equity venture capitalists are the investors of last resort. If you, we do everything wrong. Now, sometimes in the big deals, the three, four hundred million dollar deals, then cash flow doesn't meet debt service. Unless you can write a check for 20 million bucks, it ain't gonna happen. Then, uh, but that's why I don't recommend that you do the big deals to begin with because, and then, and the private equity, if they're being truthful with you, and some of them are, what do you bring to the deal? We'll give you a finder's fee. I have kids right now making three to 10 million a year just on finder's fees because they know how to find deals. They know how to find motivated sellers and they take them to private equity. No responsibilities. Wash your hands of the deal like Pontius Pilate when they turn over the deal. Some guys are making 10, 10 million. We got an ex uh, JP Morgan guy that's making 10 million quid a year and he's not working. Well, Brits don't like work too hard anyway. They're lazy fucks. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's if you do everything wrong. All debt funds. What? All, all, all debt funds. Debt. Most, almost all commercial debt. And uh, you don't have to give up shit. Yeah. The, uh, the other thing is the way she closed that legal firm when she got cleared was uh, she, she kind of did like an assumptive close. She knew what she wanted. She's like, I know you're the best. I want the best. <laughs> And if you are no, but she tells everybody thing. that. She tells yeah. everybody that that's in the script. That's awesome. For example, uh, there's certain uh, accounting firms uh, in the top 10 that own, I mean, literally own 80, 90% of the healthcare market in certain areas of the United States. There's certain accounting firms in the UK that own health core, healthcare down south, uh, you know, from uh, London south. Uh, there's certain that own it from uh, London to uh, Leeds. Uh, there's certain that, that own it. Uh, and they know they own it. I mean, there's all kinds of these charts that they do surveys. You know, 87% of the healthcare market in uh, Middle Western United States, uh, you know, PwC owns. Um, and, uh, but the script says, I know you're the best. We went high. So it's, the script's the same whether you're talking to. And you practice with the smaller firms, 2025. Uh, fifth largest firm and you work your way up because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. And uh, you, even the best guys make mistakes. Um, and uh, the, the ones that cr crash and burn, so to speak, are the guys and the gals that go, um, the, um, and if it's your brother-in-law and you've done business with your, this asshole for 20 years and I see it on the board, I throw you out of the program because that's not what this, this is about. This is new blood because you're not going to convince the old blood that you've found a new way after 35 years. Not going to happen. Nobody is even remotely that good a salesman in this group. Any group, not just this group. You're not going to tell your old, your old pal at KPMG that I got a new way from this goddamn Pina in the castle. They're not going to forget about you. You're just pissing in the wind. You're pissing in the wind. Um, but I mean, you, all the scripts, and uh, a point, you haven't figured this out yet, but every question that's been asked from somebody on the screen had to be repeated by me. Why? Whether they were sitting here, here, because you don't talk like you had a fucking pair, because you don't have a pair. Man up! God damn it! Nobody's gonna sell you a goddamn thing. Nobody's gonna give you anything. Nobody's gonna be your fucking chairman unless you talk like you had a pair. Man up! I've been screaming at people 50 fucking years and look where I live. You've been mealy mouth holding your little two inch dick. I'm serious about this. If you don't fucking man up, this program will not work for you. 
Even if you got to go throw up in the next room after you say it. And some of you do. We've got guys that are going to do webinars, throw up before they go in to see the accountants. They're so fucking nervous. And I don't care if you've been successful for 25 fucking years. You've been using the wrong system because you're using your own money. And you can continue. Now, you can take your own money and make this work. It won't be anywhere near as effective. And if you're looking at for ROIs, return on investment, the return on zero is infinite, you fucking idiots. Infinite. That means good. I mean, remember those confidence challenge men I'm talking about? They're in this fucking room. And it manifests itself different ways for different people. And I don't care if you're from Portugal or Spain or uh, some uh, more refined area of the fucking world. If you don't act like you had a pair, this will not work. Nobody ever, ever in my life, since I'm 10, 12 years, ever had to ask me to repeat a fucking statement. Never. Never. And here I got to repeat everybody's fucking questions. Enthusiasm is the Greek word from God, God from within. I've been accused of a lot of things, but not being enthusiastic ain't one of them. That's poor English. If you don't think you can fuck all night, by God, you can't fuck all night. So let's get this fucking shit straight. And don't come back and write in the fucking red QLA fail because I have no balls. Why don't you put that part in there? Because I couldn't get my one inch willy wet because QLA didn't work for me. And that's what they put in there. Every one of those cocksuckers I threw out of the program. So you're either going to man up, it's like the success test, or the, um, yeah, if somebody spit in your wife's face, I forget the question, something like that, what would you do? And there's four alternatives. You know what the alternative that's most chosen by you and you fucking feeble vaginas on YouTube? Well, I would ascertain where he, if he was having a bad day because he spit in your mama's face. Now, what is him having a bad motherfucking day got to do with him spitting in your old lady's face? Other than a procrastination excuse because you got no balls to hit him with a pipe. My favorite cousin, Ronnie, God love him, went to jail for stabbing a cocksucker 17 times because he said his girlfriend had a fat ass in 1962. By the grace of Allah, Ronnie couldn't stab anybody with a shit and the fucker didn't die. Went to prison or uh, reform, whatever they sent you in those days when he was 15. That's for saying she's had a fat ass. I asked my cousin Ronnie, he said, well, we'll kill the fucker. Now, I'm not suggesting anybody kill anybody. I'm just speaking metaphorically speaking, of course, because I wouldn't want anybody. Fuck you. Not everybody deserves to be alive. And you know that, and I know that, but I say it, and you don't. So unless you're going to stand up, this system ain't going to work. Everybody so far says, I got ruthless. Well, she, she wouldn't know ruthless if it bit her in the fucking snatch. The other guy, tough. He wouldn't know tough if it uh, chopped his penis off. But we got some guys that are pretenders, not pleasers, pretenders to be tough. It's all right if you down deep inside know you're not tough, just as long as you pretend to be tough. That's all it takes. That's why we send you to Toastmasters. That's why we send you to improv. And yet 98% of the high-performance people are all introverts. But I mean, Warren and Bill and these guys, are, oh, 
<laughs> ruthless is not a word. I got, whatever transcends ruthless is the word to describe him. And Steve, God rest his soul, was a fucking unbelievable. They told me that I'm a pussy. He said, I know a bunch of them said, Dan, you, you could have been a trillionaire. Forget the IT. You could have been a trillionaire. If, I mean, but you're too easy on people. If I'm too fucking easy, what the fuck are you? I can eat this whole fucking room alive. If I'm easy, if I'm soft, what the fuck are you? And that's what they say privately, off camera. You could have been a contender, Pena. You could have been somebody if you'd just been nastier. The guys in the 90s and early 2000s were infinitely tougher. All we did is kick them out the door. No templates, no fuck all. Now you want me to hold your hand and go sign the deal with you. And I don't even do that when I'm chairman. Fuck you, you find out how to do it yourself. Come back and tell me, this is when I'm chairman. Come back and tell me when you got the deal done. Ask the rest of the board members. And I get 20%, not 1% or 10%. And if you're a real pain in the ass to me, I take 30%. Or if you're a real pain, I take your whole fucking deal from you and bury you in the fucking desert outside Tonopah, Nevada. Because when I say I'm going to fuck you up, I mean I'm going to fuck you up. I'm just bullshitting. All you have to do is be 5% of me, you'll be a billionaire. 5%. Anything else about, we're going to have to see Josh tomorrow. I don't want YouTube seeing Josh. That's a class, that's a secret. We can't show you YouTube. Guys, I'm telling you, and that's what I read in your papers, softness. Softness. Across the board. The toughest person in this room is soft. And that bodes, and I'm selfish. I don't give a shit if you die in your bed tonight, but I'm selfish. If all you fail, then I fuck, why well, I, I should not have given, I'll give you your money back. I'm only here so I can add numbers. I don't give a fuck. Because I don't. I don't eat with you. I don't want to talk with you. Don't you get it? There's a fact pattern here. I don't want to know your names. That's why we have place cards. I don't want to know your fuck. I don't give a fuck if you're a black, blue, Chinaman. I don't give a shit. I don't like any of you. Because all you are is problems for me. But one of you, they turn up 30 billion like in the last seminar, a guy called. Praise Allah for him. And that means that one guy does 30 billion, that means it's 100 or 200 people less I have to deal with. But everybody in this room has the capability of doing it. If you want it bad enough. You just saw, heard somebody can't speak English. It's even better because she's a gal. I, I won't slag gals off, maybe, as much because we've got a couple of gals in the room. Any questions? My 5.30? 6? 6. 6.30. Okay, we eat into uh, today. The, um, And tomorrow uh, afternoon, it's the boxing. Uh, if anybody's had a change of heart, please tell Kim. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't give a shit if you box, you don't box. Um, the, um, but um, there's nothing else. Uh, we will see you uh, tonight, I believe it's 7 o'clock, for drinks. And um, goodbye, YouTube. Thank you very much.